A few days ago, on February 12, 2015, the Swiss newspapers announced that 25% of the Swiss are hostile to foreigners, meaning all foreigners, like German immigrants, Americans, English, French, etc. It was an official state, Swiss state research in which they interviewed people, probably asking like, you like foreigners? Are you active against foreigners? And only 25% said yes. So here's the entire article. It says uh, 12 February 2015. That is in German. It's not very much, you know, like spilling out like in the um, in the international newspapers about this. They, they they keep these things sort of all local, you know. Do you think they all honest honestly replied, or that most rather Swiss smiled through their teeth? And what would be the percentage of Swiss policemen being hostile to foreigners? Ninety percent, maybe, or probably even more. My 18 long years experience with the Swiss and living in Switzerland is that yes, 25% of the Swiss are very actively hostile to foreigners. Another 25% mere actively hostile. And 50% find it quite alright that the others are actively hostile to foreigners. Well, you better not believe any Swiss reports anyway. It's the same with the 2002 Berger report about Switzerland's role during World War II. By a Swiss professor of history of economics called Jean-François Berger, lecturing for 30 years from 1969 to 1999 at the same Polytechnic University of Zurich, which the Nazi Rudolf Hess attended also before inviting Hitler to Switzerland for some Swiss financing of the Nazis and World War II. So, here it is. He, well, he did this independent commission of experts uh, about Switzerland's role in World War II. And um, here it says he was at the... Uh, the prestigious from 1969 here to the prestigious history of civilizations chair at the Polytechnic School in Zurich University where he remained in, until 1999 and then he started to do this uh, the Swiss fraud about the Second World War uh, uh, I mean what, what kind of a thing is it anyway you know history of economics it's only a Swiss that can invite a thing, invent a thing like that, eh? Yeah. Independent Commission of Experts by the Swiss state. So this is on Wikipedia. So it says in this article here that um, uh, Rudolf Hess in 1922, he was studying in Zurich, Zurich Studiert. He was the replacement of Hitler and his friend Villa who financed him. So this is the same school where the uh, where he elected the, the professor who wrote the Swiss fraud um, about um, the, the Berger report, Jean-François Berger. Well, he lectured for 30 years in the same school. So starting only uh, 15 years after World War II in the same school, just a some decades before Rudolf Hesse was there, you know, it's all it's all centered around the same Swiss Zurich, uh, you know. Well, um, before um, that couple of years in Zurich, he was in Neuchâtel in Switzerland, where they speak French. So Rudolf Hesse, he must have spoken French, 
And Jean-François Berger, the guy of the Swiss fraud of the, uh, the, the World War II report, the Berger report, well, he speaks French too. And he was born in Lausanne, where he lived, which is just around the corner from Neuchâtel. So uh, they all go to Switzerland, don't they now? They all study in Switzerland, so this is on Wikipedia. They all study in Switzerland and, and live before they attack the world. You know, they organize in Switzerland. It's all based around Switzerland. And this guy here, he was born in Egypt, a pharaoh. So he went back to the motherland in the Alps, the European motherland of pharaoh. To, um, to annoy us with all their wars and... It's always Switzerland, believe me. The Berger report started in 1996 and was finished six years later with a total cost of 22 million Swiss francs, calling it an independent commission experts, short ICE, by the Swiss state. Well, sounds good, eh? Independent experts. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the... Here's their, their email. You can write them. You can write them a mail. And the name is ICE. Like there's a lot of gletchers in Switzerland, or as a cold calculation of the the ice cold Swiss heart, which can only calculate and put money together. You know. That's why it's ICE. This typical little, you know, like uh, marks. They always put it everywhere. This is their Swiss humor. Cold, icy calculation of an icy Swiss heart. My friend Glenn on channel Hell Wars calls that getting Swiss cheesed. Well, here's the real Berger report and it's for free. And it was also made in Switzerland and without some icy calculations a youtube video called auschwitz made in switzerland anyone believe swissy suffered a sudden attack of righteousness honesty and transparency making that report all of a sudden no not really eh they were under pressure internationally in the 1990s 90s for their collaboration with hitler and the nazis with watchman Christoph Maile finding Nazi documents at the USB Swiss banks, which he is explaining on his YouTube channel here in this video. Go and have a look. So here he is, Christoph Maile from YouTube, um, uh, which happened at the same time of the, uh, the Berger report fraud of the Swiss state independent experts <laughs> from by the independent Swiss state and their neutrality swindle. So sly Swissy forged history and sealed the out outcome off with a Swiss made so called independent report by Swiss experts that Switzerland never did anything wrong and Swissies are so neutral, clean and innocent. <laughs>